It's not just food that Karen Marcille serves up at Jim's restaurant. She's been serving up smiles for nearly 32 years. Every day it's different. Uh, my customers are great. I mean, I have lots of regulars who ask for me. So what if instead of a friendly waitress, your favorite omelet or cup of coffee is served up cafeteria style, vending machine, electronic menu, anything to reduce the human overhead. It may be coming as local restaurants prepare for 2014 and Obamacare. Many of us are left out there hanging, so to speak, uh, in a holding pattern because we don't know. Jimmy Haslocker says there's a slim profit margin in food sales. So to offset health care costs, something's going to have to give, and it may be full-time employees. Under the Affordable Care Act, employees who work under 30 hours a week do not qualify for a company's mandated health care. That thought is crossing the minds of business owners across Texas. Uh, no. Our priority is to stay open, keep as many jobs as we can, and impact our employees' lives as little as we can. And wait staff, busboys and bartenders worry fewer hours mean fewer tables, fewer tips. And I need that, yeah. So I guess my main concern would be paying rent, paying for food, groceries, gasoline, all of that. Members of the Texas Restaurant Association say they have accountants combing the Affordable Care Act looking for guidance. Restaurant owners say for now, Obamacare comes with a hefty side order of economic hardship. Only to have the government come in with a mandate and bankrupt your company for all practical purposes. 